This is a real cool tool for a comparison, comparing your frequencies. And when you're doing your mix or anything like that, it's a really good idea to take a look at the spectral content. Um, and when you get to a point to where you get the mix to where it's sounding pretty good and you want to really fine tune it, that a really good idea is you take a spectrum, a spectrometer. Maybe, uh, this one's a Studio One, so you'd have to check and see if yours does it or not, but I'd imagine it would. Now, you've got, all the, let's say these are all your tracks and groups, um, your group buses or whatever from your groups of, um, that you're mixing. And that basically on each one of them that you'd want to put a sin. Well, first of all, you want to put a spectrometer on the last bus where all those groups be going on the next stage of your processing, the, the, main, uh, the next bus that's going to before out. Um, or on out, you could do it also um, on the main. Um, and then basically you want to go into here and you want to, you want to basically, you know, select the side chain to that leveling bus or the main out, that spectrometer, um, on each one of those groups. And once you've done that, that you can sit there and you've got to send on all of them and it should split your spectrometer to where you've got all those on. Like these are your, this, the, let's say these three tracks, your entire mix or, or all the buses from all the groups that you put together or whatever however you're mixing and then you've got this coming over here and underneath it whenever you select one of these side chains and turn them on that you will get you know you can see what's going on in the spectral content of that particular one in comparison to the whole mix and you can go through there and really fine tune say you can really see if you're having issues in any certain area um, that you can go back to that other track and really fine tune with a little bit of EQ what's happening to really do some really, you know, fine tuning on the spectral content of your frequent, on your mix. Because one of the things that I wanted to address is that, and one of the reasons why this is cool, is sometimes that the frequency content won't really be that bad. The problem is, is it's it multiplies itself right like you've got a frequency that's at, at, at one at one kilohertz right well as the other frequencies from the other tracks hit one kilohertz it starts multiplying it and building on it right so then sometimes a lot of times you might get a lot of buildup around one kilohertz or at some at some certain frequency so if you're seeing that there's a lot of buildup on some frequency you can go back through there and find that maybe it might be one of the instruments causing a serious buildup in that frequency area, or it might be a combination of all of them, and you have to do a little bit of EQ on that frequency a little bit for the entire mix. Does that make sense? Because it'll affect it differently. Um, if you just put an EQ on the end of your mix, and you just start addressing this frequency because it's having an issue to you, you're addressing that frequency in the multiples of every instrument that's been put, played that might be boosting that frequency, which is, is very possibly going to affect the sound differently than if you go back and go, oh, whoa, dude, my, you know, this string section I put on here, it's it hit in 1K here, and it's like boosting way the heck up here or something, you know, and it's causing it, that's where most of it's at. And, you know, instead of trying to turn down that frequency itself, which is going to turn down the frequency level, because it doesn't see it as separate frequencies. Once it's summed, that's the debt it'll be like a sine wave at 1k right and that's going to be the level of it does that make sense it's not going to separate it and say oh that's the 1k from the synth or the 1k from the guitar or anything else it's just going to see as a mixed frequency spectrum that 1k needs to come down a little bit but it's not going to separate it from the other instruments i hope that makes sense because once it gets summed it just starts it's a multiple and a division and multiplication of those sine waves that are a total sum of the whole mix but that way you can go back and it's a really cool tool and it can really save your butt on a mix that you've got one instrument that's really up around 1k or something and you don't really want to eq it at the end of the mix because then you're affecting all the instruments that are helping to have other tonal qualities around that unless you're really specific notching that one sine wave or something but usually it doesn't work quite that way they're usually pretty built out like that you know and so you know and you know wide bandwidth and so it's really cool to go back and be able to find some of those frequencies that's in your you know in one of your instruments it's really causing an issue 
when you're seeing some some serious buildup around some frequencies like right here going well it's jumping way up on this one frequency which instrument's causing that go back and work from that instrument go back a step in the process and then try to step forward back into the whole mix spectrum but go back and look at that instrument and you might need to do just a little bit of eq work on that part of the spectrum and i know that's really finite but sometimes that will really help because then you're getting tones you're not suppressing parts of timbers of other instruments you that that are really helping the mix a lot you know and you're addressing it at you know you're taking a hammer when you should be using a fine chisel <laughs> does that make sense because if you EQ it from the the sum of the mix it, you're taking a hammer to the top of that spectrum and bang it down but if you go back a step and go find the culprit of what the issue is then it's a little more fine chisel kind of work you know on your mix and it can really help you a lot so i hope that works with your spectrum and spectrum meter and if it doesn't you have an issue you can always ping me but that's a really cool tool to help shape the spectral content in your mix peace hope love